Hey, this is Notzer, and we are in the Fubuki. It's on the map straight. It's a ranked battle. I wanted to show it off. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Apologies for not having the stats on the screen. I'm sort of getting back into it, and I just didn't have it working. That being said, let's discuss the build. It is preventative maintenance, last stand, faster torpedo rearm, and concealment. Yes, I don't have a 19 on this. Isn't that bad? Well, I guess it is bad, but most people don't even have a single 19. It's really unfair to expect that everyone will have just an unimaginable amount of 19 skill commanders, right? I mean, let's face it. Most people play two to three games maximum per day, if that. It's really hard to gather a lot of 19s and to apply them to a tier six. You might play different ships, so... I think 10 skills is just, just right. Getting concealment is all that is really vitally important, especially as a destroyer, to be competitive. And that's exactly what we did. So for our strat, I'm going to escort the Anchan over to A point. Hopefully we'll capture it quickly and then I can go from there. Now, why did I choose the Fubuki? 10 kilometer range torpedoes is really nice. Shinaname has eight. Hatsaharu has 10, but admittedly Hatsaharu has uh, other problems. The extra distance will allow you to attack players that maybe are moving off from you. So that's the first thing. 6.1 concealment is really nice. Kilometer range concealment. It's effective. It's very competitive. I think there's only like one or two ships that have better, if that. Most of the time I spot them first. I love keeping two to three hundred meters of distance, so... The enemy destroyers are spotted, but I don't have to use my smoke. I'm very greedy. I'm a very greedy person when it comes to competitive multiplayer games. I push it to the absolute limit. My uh, my friends and my girlfriend, she's like, God, you go so hard. That's what she said. But um, you go so hard that I, I feel like you're on the edge of dying, and that's exactly how I play every game. So at least you know, even not playing World of Warships, I am trying to kill myself in an attempt to kill the enemy before me. So we captured A twice as fast than the enemy, so we could infer a couple things. Well, we sent two destroyers to A, they only sent one. We saw another one go to B, and he had tried to capture, but I detected him. And I moved back and forth to make sure I was detected for probably five or six seconds, but I felt like he was more afraid of me than I was of him, so he would move off as well, and that would allow me to drop off almost immediately. I didn't need to use smoke. But I moved forward because I think I've got the advantage here. He's afraid, and I am not. At least not of that. So we're just gonna stay on the edge. I sent my torpedoes. Now, where did I send my torpedoes? Was it at the Fuso? It was at the Farragut, I expected him to move his smoke forward and camp at the corner of the capture point. That's what most people do to at least pause it. We have a two base to one advantage. We don't have to do anything. The enemy has to make plays. I'm just gonna do my own thing. I'm hoping that I might hit the Farragut, but I, I don't know that I will because we haven't seen him to confirm it. We get three torpedoes. That's not a Farragut. Oh my, we just killed the Fuso. 100 to 0, 35,000. Man, it feels bad, right? Oh, you got to feel for that Fuso. He went in the smoke. He was like, man, I'm going to camp here. I'm going to do damage. That's what she thought. Wait a minute. Did we did we hit a torpedo on the Farragut? I think we did. I think we hit a torpedo on the Farragut. He lost a lot of health, so I was keying off that. I'm going to move forward and try and take him out. And real quick, the enemy Fubuki was seen. But we have a Cleveland. Cleveland's are... Oh, if you are a destroyer, don't. Don't you dare. Don't you dare go over and try and fight a Cleveland. But I tried to move forward. Maybe engage the Farragut, take him out. I saw that the Warspite was in an awkward position. He could move forward. I think he's trying to camp behind the island. So I'm going to try and deny him that camp spot. That's the nice thing about the torpedoes. The extra range allows you to do these sort of things. In the past, I have gone a torpedo accelerated build, and that's great for knife fighting, but it makes it a challenge if you want to stay back, but also impact a ship like this. 
If I had the 8 kilometer range torpedoes, maybe on the Shinanamei, maybe I can't quite reach them. But here, they will absolutely reach them. And oh, looks like we're going to be able to take out the war spite. And can we get a double strike on the Farragut? You know it's on the table, so you gotta go for it. I popped my smoke. I was taking a little bit of fire, that's why I did it. And oh, of course. We don't get the double strike. Granted, we probably deserve the double strike. And uh, the team did a good job. You know, I'm happy for the team, yeah. I would have loved to double strike there. But it doesn't matter. We've got two bases to their one. They have to push forward. I could continue to send the smoke in about 30 seconds. Yeah, I'm not going to do a lot of damage. I'm like, oh, I am I detected? Oh, hello, Fubuki. <laughs> oh, that's funny because I know he probably got torpedoes. Oh, he sent one. He still has two more sets, so I'm trying to nose into him to try and force him to miss. And oh, my. Oh, we take it right on the nose. And he can't avoid that. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, so why did I survive? Because the nose fully absorbed... All of the torpedoes, there's only a set amount of total damage that sections of the ship will be. It's about 80% of your total life. Two of the torpedoes, I believe, hit the nose, and it did 80% of my life. I can't die if one section of the ship takes all the damage in a torpedo system. It's just not possible. It gets fully absorbed to the point where I'm basically immune to damage right there. And uh, obviously we had torpedoes, and I just did a Toro and sailed on by and... Stuck him hard. He wasn't going to be avoiding those torpedoes. It's uh, really fun to get in a situation like that, clearly. And that would probably work on every single destroyer, not just the Fubuki. So, overall, the game... <laughs> could it work any better? Getting a blind torpedo kill on the Fuso. Getting a, finding a war spite that was camping behind an island. Getting the Farragut spotted out, and obviously we didn't get the kill, but we assisted in the kill. And then the Fubuki, he doesn't have enough torpedoes to finish me off, so I'm able to just easily kill him as he slams into the island. You know, I mean, sometimes you gotta have luck on your side, but you make your own luck by making the right choices. Moving when you think you got an advantage and staying back when you don't. Speaking of choices, I'm deciding to only fire when I am behind the island. Now, they were moving away from each other, so eventually I was going to be spotted, but I tried to lower it to the very last second, which we did, and there's only one ship left. So Fubuki, it's a pretty good ship. It's a very good ship when there are campy players, and I think there are a lot of camping players in ranked play. I have the extra range to get the torpedoes out there, three different sets. I can decide to send all three or two or one, whatever it needs. On top of all that, great concealment. It feels very solid for the current way you play the meta. Since there's no radar, it doesn't really matter, right? But even if there was, oh god, please don't kill me. You get so unlucky, but we, we kill them. Thankfully, just enough health, right? Just enough. And there you go. That was a great win in the Fubik. Very enjoyable to play. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Four kills. We had seven torpedo hits. Two devastating strike. First blood. High caliber. 1,775 base XP. And so close to the Independence Day for America. 1776. All of my damage was in torpedoes, of course. You know, I mean, that's how it works. And yeah, Fubuki's pretty good. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time.